Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost. This is Global War 1914 Operation Hamill. Uh, the Empire of Japan. We're still in uh, the summer of 1914. As you probably recall, uh, Japan aligned uh, to the Empire of uh, Britain and the Allies. So, uh, as such, they are at war currently with Germany and Austria-Hungary. So, here we go. First things first, uh, will be tech. And Japan's going to try wartime economy because there isn't really anything else on there right now that can help them too much. So, they're looking for a seven. And they missed with a five. I think you can see it down there. Okay, Japan did not start the game with any money, so they can't build anything this turn. Um, they do have two reserves that I put on the build queue that they'll place in the uh, place units phase. So, they don't get to do diplomacy. We're off to combat. And Japan is going to do a couple of combats. Can we see? Yeah, we can see everything pretty good. Okay, first off, this transport in P-16 is going to load uh, an infantry and artillery from Tokyo. It has a bonus from a port or either one of a couple of shipyards uh, so it can go one, two, well it actually didn't need the bonus. One, two to come down here for an amphibious assault on the Marshall Islands. These two pre-dreadnoughts uh, do need the port bonus to make it. So they normally only move one but with that they can go with the two uh, to provide uh, shore bombardment and escort. And then the other combat, this cruiser and these two destroyers in P-32 are going one, two, three, four. They have port bonus from Formosa and they're going to attack the two uh, German cruiser raiders in P-64. That'll be it for the combats. So let's get over here and do some rolling. Okay, first off, we got uh, two units on the transport, so we've got two bombardment shots. Uh, Pre-dreadnoughts, shore bombard at a three. And those both missed. Four and an eight. Okay, so now the infantry will attack uh, by himself for the first round. Uh, no terrain. There's a miss. So the German colonial infantry defends. That's a three. He missed. Now the artillery can come join the action. And uh, that's going to boost the infantry up from uh, two to three. So the green is the infantry, blue is the artillery at a, a four. Okay, the green infantry hit on a three. So now the colonial takes his shot and he misses again with a three. So, down here. Okay. The German comes off. Put that on there. The Japanese 
infantry and artillery there. Okay, Japan. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, when Japan aligns to the Allies, they only get to collect half of their wartime income, which is 12. So they get to collect six of that, and then the reference sheet says any additional IPPs for like captured territories, they get the whole thing. They don't have to cut it in half. So the Japan's going to go up from 6 to 7. Germany down one from 37 to 36. Okay, that's that one. Now, the cruiser. Let's move the French guy over there a little bit. The cruiser and two destroyers have come down to P-64. And they're going to attack the cruiser raiders. Uh, the cruiser will be rolling at a three. The two destroyers will be rolling ones. Yeah. There is a hit by the cruiser. So one of the cruiser raiders is sunk. So now they both get to shoot back at a one. And they both miss with a 5 and a 12. So, one of the cruiser raiders goes to the bottom of the Pacific. The other one slips away and lives to fight another day. Alright, that's it for combat. Uh, Non-combat... We're going to move this coastal sub from P-16 down here one space to P-35. And then we're going to move this coastal sub from P-32 over here one space to P-43. Oh yeah, I forgot there was a housekeeping item I almost forgot to mention. Um, it turns out in the rules that submarines can only go import at a submarine base. So this Ottoman coastal sub is not in port. It's out there just steaming around there in uh, M7. Okay, got that taken care of. All right. That was our non-combat uh, place units. We'll put the two reserve infantry over here. Uh, doesn't really matter. I guess we'll put them in Tokyo. It doesn't really matter. So there those two are. Now collect income. Uh, I said Japan's at seven. And since they had nothing to start with, that's what they're going to have for next turn. Seven yen. Okay. I think that's going to do it for the Empire of Japan. Ozark Outpost. Over and out.